In this video, we'll be going over how to create a password input panel using visual programming and the UI editor. To put it simply, we're going to use variables to record the position of the digits entered, when the player presses a numbered button, and detect whether the correct digit was entered. Step 1. Use the UI Editor to design a password panel. In the World of Wonder Editor, select the UI Editor from the menu at the top. Use text, images of numbers, and buttons with custom sizes and positioning to complete your panel design. Follow that up by placing an area trigger device in the location of your password locked door. Step 2. Set up the interaction between the player and the password panel using visual programming. In the World of Wonder Editor, open visual programming from the menu at the top and find the Gameplay Device Event block. Select the area trigger device you just placed and set the trigger to Player Enters Area. Then, add Set Visibility of Control beneath the Gameplay Device Event block and insert Player Character That Triggers Event into the Set Visibility of Control block. Select the UI elements placed in the UI Editor and toggle their visibility on. Likewise, use the same configurations for the other UI elements. This way, the password panel will appear when the player enters the area trigger device's range. Make a copy of it and toggle the visibility off, so that the password panel closes when players tap the close button. Step 3. Set the correct password. In the Variable Block section, add three new Boolean variables, named 1, 2, and 3, and disable the default variable. Then, add new integer variables named first, second, and third, respectively. Once you've done that, place an Any Player Taps the Button event block and select your password. Under the Any Player Taps the Button block, add an If slash Else block and select Compare. In Any Value, select the first integer variable you just added and set the other value to zero. Next, add an Assign Variable block and set the Boolean value to one. Leave Any Value open. Then, follow the same steps to set the integer value and Boolean values to two and three in order. Now, if the player enters the numbers in the correct sequence, it will be detected as correct. Step four, set the display to correspond to the number entered. Again, we want to repeat what we did in step two. Place an Any Player Taps the Button block, add an If slash Else block, and choose the same parameters. The difference is, you also need to add two if slash else blocks here to set the second and third digits of the password. Next, repeat the same steps nine times for the numbers one to nine. This way, when the player taps any number, the precise digit entered will be tracked and show up in the display. Step five, set up events for both correct and incorrect inputs. Once again, place an any player taps the button block and add three if slash else blocks to represent the first, second, and third digits of the password. Add two Perform Gameplay Device blocks to the third if slash else block, and link them to the area trigger device set up in step one. Set the player who disables the device as the one who pressed the buttons, so that player who enters the correct password opens the door. Let's also set up an event for incorrect inputs. Under the third if slash else block, add a Show Text Message block to let the player that tapped button know that they've entered the wrong password. Also, add a set player screen shake block. At the same time, add six assign variable blocks and set the integer variables and Boolean variables to zero and off respectively. Next, add three set display to text for button control blocks with the buttons labeled as numbers one, two, and three. Set the text to a minus sign. Don't forget to repeat these steps two more times. This way, when the wrong password is entered, the player's screen will shake, informing them that they've made a mistake. Lastly, we need to make it so the display clears when players tap Delete. Place an Any Player Taps the Button block and set the button as Delete. Then add six Assign Variable blocks and set the integer variables and Boolean variables to zero and off respectively. Next, add three Set Display to Text for Button Control blocks with the buttons labeled as numbers 1, 2, and 3. Set the text to a minus sign. Now, players will be able to delete numbers they've entered. That's all for this guide on how to create a password input panel using visual programming and the UI editor. Find more guides at the Creation Center and Co-Create Space.